Hey, what's going on guys? Comic again Z here. In this video, we'll learn how to locate an object on a screenshot using Python, OpenCV, and PyOta GUI. So if you're interested, without further ado, let's actually start writing some code. Okay, so the very first thing to consider, we need to store a screenshot and the template that we, that we would be matching within this root of a screenshot. So let's go for it. And here is my current working directory. So the screenshot would appear right over in here. And first we need to import some packages. So I wanna say import CV2, import numpy as NP and import by auto GUI as pg so first let's take a take a screenshot to store locally okay so so i can simply say screenshot equals to pg dot screenshot and the name, let's call it screenshot.png. Make sure to save uh, all the stuff to PNG format for otherwise it's not gonna be working. It's a bit of a limitation. So now I wanna open the terminal in the current working directory and by typing Python 3 locate.py, I run the script and it creates a screenshot here. But uh, I don't really wanna have this uh, sort of a thing, so I need to uh, establish the screen exactly the way it would look like when I would be recognizing my uh, uh, when I'm going to be running my pattern recognize, recognition script. So here is how the screen screenshot is going to look like. So let's make it again, and here is the screenshot. Okay, so now I'll manually crop the board and in the next tutorial in this series on uh, OpenCV tutorials, we'll learn how to make an automated uh, image cropping using Python and OpenCV, so don't miss that video as well. Okay, but for now, I'll use just a regular image manipulation program, uh, GNU image manipula manipulation program in my case. You can use whatever that allows image cropping, okay. So I just need to select this pattern, okay, the board literally, and crop and export as, let's call it board. Again, like make sure to store it to PNG format. So board PNG, export, export, great. And well, uh, actually, hold on guys, just uh, as far as we are, we are already here, let's also, export a pawn because we're gonna be matching the multiple multiple pawns as well so yeah as far as we were here currently so let's take a pawn like this and yeah let's export as and call it pawn png export export great okay so let me close all the unnecessary windows okay good so now we no longer need to make this screenshot and now we want to take a screenshot to locate object object objects on so screenshot equals to so this this is the same stuff a part of I no longer need to specify any parameters but we can show this screenshot in OpenCV uh, in OpenCV window uh, just straight away so we need to convert it to a specific color uh, we need to, to change color slightly bit so we want to adjust colors and I say screenshot equals to so i want to create a new numpy array okay and i take the screenshot as the parameter here and i also want to say cv2.convert color 
And for this kind of newly created array, I want to convert it to CV2 color RGB to BGR. Okay, so from now on we can display our screenshot in a window. Okay, so cv2.image show and let's call the window screenshot and we want to display our screenshot. Then we want to provide the escape condition. So cv2 dot wait key and wait for whatever key being pressed and finally make some cleanups so clean up windows so i want to say cv2 dot destroy all windows like this okay so if i did everything properly it now should be uh, capable of displaying the screenshot in the specific window. Okay, so now we are ready to locate a single object. Okay, let's go for it. So, uh, would it be locating a single object and multiple objects as well? But first, let's start with location the single object. So, locate a single object in a screenshot. Uh, so, let's call it board. Would it be equal to BG dot locate on screen and uh, now the template that we want to be using so board dot png is the exact one so board dot png and if we just print the board it should it should give us four values so top left width and height so the top left coordinate and the width and the height of the matched area okay what's going wrong okay ah sorry guys okay here we go yeah so here is the screenshot and here is what i've been talking about so left top width and height now we can use these parameters to actually capture the certain area using the rectangle. So we just uh, draw a rectangle using the CV2 rectangle, a rectangle function to visually uh, show the exact area that has been detected uh, by find or by locate on screen function. So the next thing we want to uh, draw rectangle around the object so cv2 dot rectangle and i'm going to be writing this rectangle to screenshot so this is the first parameter and then we need i need to specify the top uh the top left coordinates so this would be board dot left so first x coordinate then board dot uh, top the y coordinate and then then I want to well, let's actually go for like this okay so here left plus board dot width and here board top plus board dot height the next thing to consider is the color so let's make it yellow and finally the thickness so let let it make like two and if i did everything properly it now should draw a yellow rectangle around the word area which which would mean that the object detection was successful which we see here on a screenshot well okay great so the next thing to consider is how can we detect how can we detect multiple points uh, on a board? So let's now go for a multiple object detection here. Okay, so it's very similar, but there are a couple of hacks as well. So now we want to detect several objects on screenshot. And now we need an iterator. So, uh, and a very handy thing that the function locate all on screen in, instead of just locate on screen. 
So if I just say locate all on screen, and in this case, I'm going to be using pawn PNG, pawn PNG. So I can say for, let's call it pawn in PG find pawn. So if I just print the pawn here, it would now show me, it would now show me the exact uh, coordinates for every single pawn available. So here we have three pawns being, pawns being detected. You might be wondering why only three pawns, but uh, for now, let's just draw the rectangles here. Okay, so I just copy this line and I want to change uh, the board to pawn, 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 and the color, so let it be red. Okay, and here we go. So now we have only three pawns being detected on our screenshot. However, this pawns should be on the cards as well. Okay, and we might encounter even a more complicated situation. So let's say we just go to back to back here. So let's say a pawn moved and it has been highlighted. So it's another issue to consider. So let's let's run the script again. Okay, and we see that um, sorry. Okay. Excuse me. What has gone wrong? Okay, hold on a sec. Okay, guys. So yeah, uh, here is a, a bit of a problem. So board is no longer being uh, being uh, detected because the port position has changed. So we need to command out. Uh, we need to command out this part. Uh, so yeah, let's command out this part for now. Okay. Yeah, because obviously, uh, yeah, it's not it's the, the the position is different. Hence, yeah. But again, like here is the problem. So we don't have uh, all the pawns being highlighted. Only only those that exactly match the pattern. But there is a way how we can deal with this. So if we if we uh, provide just a single uh, just a single parameter which is called the confidence. So I say confidence equals to, let's take 0 0.5, then already it should, uh, it should be taken, it should be captured, it should be capable of capturing all the points. So let's try to see how that works. Okay, perfect. So now we have all the pawns being captured. Now, why why did this happen actually? So this confidence parameter actually allows us to uh, like don't take into account the fact if the pixels don't don't match exactly. Let's say. And uh, by the way, to make this parameter work, uh, you you need to make sure that uh, OpenCV is installed, is is available as a backend in your system. For otherwise, for otherwise, it's not going to be working. It's just a high level wrapper for uh, like I guess the match template functions in OpenCV or similar. I, I'm not sure how exactly this is implemented. I just know from the documentation that is so that you really need to have OpenCV to be installed to make use of this confidence. But the idea is very simple. The idea is that as long as we have a similar patterns, even with a slightly different pixels surrounding uh, the the objects on their own, still we do match them. So if this is the white pawn, no matter if it's on a black square or on a dark square, on a white square, or or on a highlighted square, anyway, this should be uh, treated. This should be uh, treated as a white pawn, hence detected by this locate all objects on screen. Well, okay guys, that's it from my side. So I hope you learned something interesting out of this tutorial. This is it. And until the next time, yeah, and take care.